grace and peace to you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Today I would like to share with you a letter. Just in the same way that Paul and many of the other apostles in the New Testament times shared letters of the church. So dear family of Christ and Fields United Methodist Churches, I give thanks for your faithful ministry and love for one another amidst of all this time in the coronavirus pandemic. I am astonished by the sacrifice that you have made on the behalf of our church and our community by continuing to provide your offerings, gifts, and tithes. I commend your dedication to call one another, to write cards to your neighbors, to sew masks for our community, and post encouraging words on social media. You continue to bear witness to the love of Christ in the town of Shenandoah and beyond, like the beacon of a lighthouse in the midst of a stormy sea. I write to you today to inform you that the bishop and the cabinet have discerned that it is time for me to move. I have been reappointed to Bridgewater United Methodist Church as their associate pastor of youth ministry and congregational care. My final sermon for Christ and Fields Churches will be delivered on Sunday, June 14th, 2020, as I minister in my first appointment. I have appreciated your support and how you've helped me to grow as a pastor. We've done a lot together as a church family. Fields Church, together we raised money needed to make our building handicap accessible. And we celebrated our church's 150th anniversary in 2018. Christ Church, we put a lot of hard work and hours into preparing our dramas, teaching children about Jesus at Vacation Bible School, fellowship around apple butter kettles, and through all of our community-focused outreach events. So many delicious dinners, and in many other ways that we have sought to share about the love of God in our community. Both churches, in everything you do, you always seek to share the love of God, first and foremost. My ministry in Shenandoah may be coming to a close, but I have no doubt that your ministry and doing God's work will continue to grow through your faithful servanthood. For the latter half of June, I've ensured that you will be cared for by pastoral coverage from United Methodist pastors. I've also invited guest speakers who will be proclaiming the word of the Lord with you on the last two Sundays of June. Our dear friend, Evangelist Doug Gokenauer, and the Reverend Gordon Merriweather, Harrisonburg District's Director of Congregational Vitality. I ask that you would pray for the Shandua Charge's future pastor. Pray for God to prepare your hearts and minds to receive this servant of the Lord. This pastor will bring new gifts and graces to Christ and Fields churches and will help shepherd you in continuing the mission to share the love of God in our community. As my first appointment as a minister, I want you to know how much I truly appreciate you, the support that you've given me over these past three years. You've helped me to grow as a minister, and I appreciate your patience and grace for me. I am also so thankful for your flexibility and encouragement as I prepare for the requirements and the process of ordination. While that journey is not yet complete, 
You've helped me to develop my craft so my ordination may be completed one day soon. I welcome your continual prayers for me in this matter and in my new appointment. And you will continue to remain in my thoughts and prayers as well. I am thankful for my time here in Shenandoah. I will always remember you and love you all. I would like to share with you um, this prayer, or a prayer with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, hold fields in Christ United Methodist Churches in your loving arms. I pray that you would build up your family here in the town of Shenandoah to continue in their faithful work. I pray for their new pastor. Grant them wisdom and strength that comes from you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Peace be with you.